Okay, we're back in the engine room. Let's uh, interview Garrus first. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's up? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. You seem to keep going so all of these side quests that don't matter. Damn Gath. Think he'll get away? We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. All right. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Sure. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? It's possible. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. He's got some good points. Yeah, I pretty much agree with him at this point, actually. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Don't let me down. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. I love Garrus. <laughs> I love him so much. He's amazing. Shepard. What's up? So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Okay. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. That's your reason? So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Sometimes. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. We might have had that conversation with him before, I don't remember. I don't recall it. Okay. Um, Tally. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Of course it's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. Yeah, um, immediately. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. Mm. Then you'll leave us. We'll be all alone. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. Oh, okay. Um... You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. All right. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. That's enough. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, um, now we have a lot of shit to do on the Citadel, so we'll head back there. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. 
We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. It's been a while since I'll, so I'll remind you exactly what happened. We went to uh, rescue this lady's like sister, and we found out that uh, some shady shit was going on as a result. Um, her sister turned to be like a slaver or something. It was really weird. So we're gonna like talk to her about that. Yes, Shepard. Did you find my sister? You lied to me. Dahlia's dead. I killed her myself. If you don't want to end up like her, start talking. Wow. No need to raise your voice, Commander. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. Should have told me. I would have helped if you'd just told me the truth. Perhaps you're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I've got a better deal. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. Ooh! We'll get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. I'm suddenly less angry at this person. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? What can you oh, wait a minute, we already been through uh, this. Can you at least... <laughs> Forgot. That's the beginning of the consort's mission? Yeah, that's a, a breadcrumb to get you to go to the consort. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what? They should have deactivated that. Yeah, they should have. But now so, it's out of order. So, uh, Nisa, whatever her name is, does she come back and... I don't recognize her from any of the other games. Nisana Dantius? I don't remember, um, offhand, but I don't think she does. Uh, Citadel Tower. Okay, now we got two quests to turn it up here, and both of them are right next to each other, thankfully. So this will make it really easy for us. Um, if I remember right where this guy is... Hello? Oh, here he is. Right over here. Hey, buddy. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? He's dead. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact... Oh, right! Everyone died knew. that we went to go check up on. But I kept yeah. hoping he <laughs> Literally everyone. Oh. Part of the course in Mass Effect. Thank you for finding him. If we don't find them no dead, we end up killing them anyway. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Okay, and then this next one's gonna be Admiral Koku. No, I'm waiting to. Commander, any word on my missing men? They died. I found them. Well, what was left of them. They ran into a Thresher Mall. A uh, Thresher Mall? That's not. My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I... What? The oh. missing recon group? Anything you need Not right me? now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as... Okay. The Baines thing's already over, right? I thought it was. Let me check. Um... Mm, I'm 
not seeing it. Yeah. So I guess we did solve it already. That's probably just another breadcrumb that's not been resolved yet. Okay. Oh my god, we're finally getting through all the fluff and actually getting to the good missions that we want to see. We've been doing a lot of fluff for the last two days. I'm sorry. I've been waiting for you to get back. Mm. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. Oh dear. Uh, Where did this? Okay. Conrad. His eyes were just totally white for. Conrad, I'm pretty busy. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. Oh, Jesus. What? what if you signed me on as another specter? Let's do it. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Let's do it. Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> joke if you want but there were people who didn't believe in you and you worked out right um what you did on Torfin. i'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the job done <laughs> that's a load of crap there isn't Conrad, a single op no idea what it takes to get the job done what no please please don't hurt me why are you doing this there isn't a single option where you can just say sure i'll put your name in for you of course not that'd be ridiculous that'd be hilarious uh, you need to learn. Because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. <laughs> Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. What the hell? This is problem. <laughs> I don't know. Is did, he is needed he tough love? Damaged? He needed some tough fucking love. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Yeah, for when we first approached him, I thought he was gonna ask us to do a three-way with his wife or something. <laughs> nah, he wants to be a specter, and no, it, it, it's not just handed out like that. In the real world, I would I would do the same. Like I would be like, nope, you absolutely can't handle it. But in this game, I would totally have loved an option to be like, sure, I'll sign you up, and then like a day later, you get a distress call from him. And you go investigate, and he's been totally mutilated. Man. Like, by a Hanar. Something, like, a pushover. <laughs> by a Hanar? Something really simple. <laughs> That's evil. That he could evil. have easily defended himself against. That's evil. If he had, like, you know, stones. <sighs> Literal anyway. and figurative. Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard. Oh, the Lord. First human specter. When Attempted. pressed on the issues, however, Commander Shepard reportedly lost control and assaulted the reporter. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Wow, that should have made the news a month ago. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> a little bit backlog there, guys. Don't you guys don't you guys know what how the twenty four hour news cycle works? Mm, all right. Well, we are finally heading the flip out to Novaria. I didn't check on how much uh, data we've got, but I'm pretty sure we've still got enough. We've still got plenty of time. Or plenty of space, so to speak. You got plenty of space. Space is infinite. Mm-hmm. And it's growing everywhere. I'm glad you caught the joke. Stand by, shore party. No, don't scan me, do. Venting neurotoxin Log. now. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Can you ever talk to Presley? Does he ever have anything new? Uh, maybe. Yes, Commander. No. Nope. Carry on, Presley. Why yes, are you a character? He's just your XO. He's just uh. You know, for an XO, he sure doesn't seem to do much. <laughs> he minds. Garrus is a better XO than he is. Like you leave the ship and Presley is like, okay, Presley's game is going. And he goes into the closet and like pulls out a broom or something and just starts sweeping the deck and he's just like whistling and being really, really passive and he's like, hey, it's Presley's ship now. Sweep. I want to make a webcomic about this. Sweep, sweep, sweep. What Presley does while you're off the ship. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny. <laughs> He just does really like calm things. Like he goes down to the to one of the rooms and he's like, "Hey, Adams, how are you doing?" <laughs> and Adams is like, "Oh, Presley, how are you doing?" And they set up a chess table and like right next to the giant ass Mass Effect drive, and he's like, "Ha, checkmate!" And like 
the, one of the pieces just like flips off the table and rolls a little bit, and it gets sucked into the engine. <laughs> and he's oh, there just are just both like <laughs> freaking out. This is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Uh, well, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers, an Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Well. Okay. Um. That's probably a big deal. Nah. A side mission. Nah. <laughs> Let's go to Novaria first. Okay. We we can do that after Novaria. Oh, look at this! Look how cool that looks. Literally, because it's snow. <laughs> 